part of my family trip to Greece. People were up in my DM saying, where's the wedding, where's the wedding, where's the wedding? Chill guys, the wedding is coming. Oh the day finally came, the Saturday 23rd of September 2023, the D-Day, the wedding day. We started off by getting lunch at Achipalagos again. Those people will practically have all our money now. Afterwards, we got knocked out, we took a nap, and then we started getting ready for the wedding, and we left at 5.45. <laughs> the wedding took place at Monastery Beach at 6 p.m. and I feel like it's gonna be disrespectful of me to even voice over it, so I'm not going to. Just enjoy! <laughs> I'm representing the chief from Ghana and the uh, annual uh, uh, this is the time the official recognition has come. In Ghana, when uh, people do great things, uh, we congratulate them by saying Aiko and in response people say Yaye. So I'll crave your indulgence to respond yeah yeah anytime I say Aiko. Can we try? Yeah. Aiko! Yeah, yeah. Aiko! Yeah, yeah. This statement I believe is what my father, our father, the bright father, the late Major Karaj Kwashigan, who I believe is probably looking down on us, would like me to say to this special lady. Deborah Elessa, who is also mom to many of us, a round of applause. Mm -hmm.
no day, it's only once in life. Love me while you can, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Love me while you can. That no day, that no day, that no day. Love me while you can. I've been to quite a number of weddings in my lifetime i don't even know why i'm saying lifetime like i'm 50 i'm not even that old but this wedding was by far the best one i have been to so far it was just amazing and perfect everything was just perfect after the wedding we took some pictures and let me just say my family we, we stepped clean and big shout out to sign lq for making my dress and Fafa's dress as well. I don't know why I just said sign OQ, like sign OQ is not me. But then big shout out to me for making our dresses. At 8 p.m. we went down to the dinner. The setting looked absolutely fabulous. My siblings and I were on the jollof rice table, which is absolutely hilarious, but thoughtful at the same time. Everyone had seats allocated to them and all the covers had Polaroid pictures on them of like memories that they've shared with the couple. My one was a picture of me, Auntie Roslyn and Fafa on the Keta beach. And I honestly can't even remember when we took that picture, but <laughs> it was so cute. The couple made their entrance and then we had a very fantastic dinner afterwards. There were a number of speeches done and a very adorable slideshow. Afterwards we had a toast and then it was time to get down and boogie. We went down to the dance floor 
and it was live everybody just had a very 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 good time let me keep quiet just keep watching The next Sunday was the beach day and we all practically slept through the morning because we were exhausted from the night before. We were literally dancing up to like 3 a.m. It wasn't it wasn't a joke at all. We decided to get on quad bikes and we rode all the way to Cabana, which is a beach club we were gonna spend the afternoon at. Being the blogger that I am, I decided to sacrifice the experience of riding quad bikes on a Greek island and even sacrificing my phone in the process just to capture this footage for you guys. So you guys better like, comment, subscribe and even share because I've been working overtime. I decided to sit behind Kelly here. I just said I wasn't going to ride it just so I can vlog for you guys. So you better do the needful because because you must the ride there was about 20 minutes long and you remember what i said about when you go overseas everything looks hd this one wasn't even hd set it was 4k because everything was just given windows screen saver i'm telling you the truth it was just beautiful We got there around 4 p.m. and then we said hi to everyone. Afterwards, I went to change into my swimsuit and we went for a quick, quick, quick dip. And once we came out, everyone else had arrived as well. Uncle Clinton decided to be Aquaman, that's him in the water there. And you know, people were just chilling. It was a chill day, relaxation, you know, just chilling, 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 chilling like we do best. That was our buffet for lunch slash dinner and the food was really really good. Every day I just think about that pork kebab. It's not kebab actually, I think they call it sunaki. I think that's what it's called. I can't be lying. I might be lying. 
don't believe me the food was so good and i had pina colada like 50 virgin pina colada purely virgin no alcohol i was so full i got knocked out and i think i had the best nap i've ever had like ever on this on this beach when i woke up the sun had started setting and you know everyone was just cooling down by this time everyone had already had a dip in the sea and was just chilling around and my dad even got a massage serious intense massage i'm telling you he slept he slept crying and my mom and dad decided to take a dip in the sea because my dad promised us that he would enter so he had to enter by force then that was the end of the night for us. This is how it looked at night. The view was amazing. And then we headed home. And of course, you know us already. Nothing changed since part one. You know us already. You know what I'm gonna say. We had to stop by the ice cream man's place once again because it was our last night in Paris. And it was only right that we paid him a visit again. We got some ice cream. Monday was in fact our last day in Greece and we woke up early, packed away and went to catch the ferry to Mykonos around 11. Our adventures had sadly come to an end and it was time for us to return to the trenches. But we thank God anyways because it was a fabulous trip. Once we got to Mykonos, we didn't know what to do or where to go because we had to spend the whole day there. Our flight was in the evening. But then God sent us Costas once again from Aeolus Resorts and he happily took us back to the resort. Once we got there, the manager welcomed us again. Even though we weren't even staying the night, he allowed us to stay by the poolside at the daylight wing and he just told us that we could chill until it was time for our flight. And they even offered to drop us off at the airport again. Tell me, tell me, which resort is better than Aeolus? You can't tell me. We walked to Mykonos town to get our large gelato from Da Vinci's and I didn't vlog this bit because I felt like you guys would just be judging us even harder. It was finally time for us to leave and there was a beautiful sunset at Aeolus Resort and that was like the best send off ever. We left there at 6.40 and it didn't take too long for us to get to the airport because it's just a few minutes away. We said goodbye to Costas, the real OG of this trip. Big shouts to Costas again. After a very long wait and a delayed flight as well, we finally got to board around 9.30 and then it was back to the trenches. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next travel vlog. Bye!